Hey, what is going on guys? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here. Welcome back to the Fragrance Well. First, let me apologize if I look a little bit tired. I kind of had to pull an all-nighter, but I have gotten a nap in and I'm excited to do this video because I got some new fragrances from the house of Savoir Faire. I'm actually relatively new to the house still. I've only got the two that I blind bought in my collection, those being uh, Soul Cafe and the Whiskey Rose, but I have been so blown away by these, by these fragrances that as soon as I got the email from Savoir Faire saying that they had three new fragrances in a sample pack for people to check out, I didn't even hesitate. I just went on ahead and bought it. Matter of fact, I was on vacation and I just went on ahead and grabbed it and uh, said, as soon as I get these in, I know I'm gonna do a first impressions video. I do believe I have some Savoir Faire fans that watch my channel. And if you haven't checked out these fragrances yet, then you know maybe this will be something to uh, you know look into the house. But uh, so far, I'm very much impressed with the house. And honestly, I still need to get my nose on the rest of the fragrances they have. They already have a full catalog, but we've got three new ones here. This is going to be a first impressions video. Uh, as I said, I purchased the sample set, so this was not gifted to me. And uh, again, they are packaged up. So you know, showing that this is actual first impressions. They do kind of give a lot of hints in the packaging on its own as to what these fragrances can be. One of them, just the very name of it, kind of gives a way to what might be in it. But I tried my best to not be too influenced by uh, the notes that are actually given on some of the uh, spray packets they have here. They got them here, I just kind of tried not to look at them. But either way, I'm gonna give my first impressions and of course we'll go over the notes and all of that. So let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and get right into it. But before we do, as always, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please, Hit that bell icon and enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so the three fragrances newly released from the House of Savoir Faire are Indica Indicativa, I guess that's how you say it, Hella Flora, and Figasm. So, you know, just a sample card here. Uh, I don't even know if they have released bottles of this yet actually yeah they did because there's like a little code here where you can like buy them early or whatever so i imagine the bottles look uh, like the rest of their bottles so anyway uh we're gonna just go ahead and pop this thing open and go ahead and check these out so uh they got them labeled by letter so we're gonna do indicativa first oh and they give you a pretty nice sample size there too that's really nice so we're gonna dive into Indicativa. I have no idea what this is. I'm just gonna go straight into it. Not gonna waste any more time. Nice sprayer there, man, real nice. Let's see. Oh, okay. It's nice in the air, that's good. Hmm. Something is different about this that I cannot put my finger on. So it's definitely floral. It's got a little bit of an herbaceous green vibe to it. Could be a touch powdery. Again, I'm smelling this on a sample strip, so you know I'm not getting the full picture of it. I might test these on skin, but I've got a fragrance on my skin, unfortunately. Ah, I, dude, I can I cannot really pinpoint exactly what this is, but there's almost a leathery aspect in the back as, as well. I don't know, maybe there's some. It's very herbaceous, so I'd be willing to bet that there's some like herbal notes in this, and it's probably a blend of them. Could maybe even be some rosemary or something like that, or I'm even getting like a tarragon vibe. Maybe uh, we'll see what the notes are here in a second, but it's very herbaceous, herbaceous in nature, uh, not too fresh. And again, I'm getting a little bit of a powderiness. I think there's a little bit of an earthiness to it, but it this is different. I can't say I've ever smelled anything quite like this. Let's go ahead and look at what we've got here because this one is, is weird to me. Okay, cannabis, vetiver, vanilla, elemi, black agar, patchouli. Uh, bergamot, musk, greenwood, cedar, and sandalwood. Man, I, maybe I get more of a cannabis on skin because of this I am not really getting much of a cannabis, and I think I am gonna probably spray these on skin. But uh, vetiver, vanilla, vanilla kind of makes sense. There's a warmness to it, but it's not like ridiculously sweet. The elemi does kind of make sense to me, but actually, yeah, it's not not a lot of herbaceous notes. It says green woods. Uh, interesting. I don't know, maybe I'm just Maybe I'm, look, maybe I'm tired. I did say I didn't, haven't had much sleep, and I, I mean it, I haven't had very much sleep at all. Maybe my nose is broken right now. Uh, let's spray this on skin though, why not? Let's just go for it. All right, yeah, I'm getting up. Dang, I just sprayed my thumb in a way I didn't want to, but 
Uh, let me let this settle for a second and I'll come right back. All right, it hasn't even been a minute. It's been like 30 seconds. It's completely different. I'm actually gonna throw the tester strip out of here because that does not give me a full representation at all of what this scent is. So I get the cannabis right away on skin. And it's a balanced cannabis. It's not gonna like blow your head away in terms of that just pungent, kind of green, cheap cannabis smell. It's very leafy, smells relatively natural. Uh, it still has an herbaceous vibe, but again, it's it's definitely centered more around cannabis now. I'm still, I still feel like I'm getting this almost leathery nature to it, but they don't necessarily list anything of that nature in the notes, but that doesn't mean, you know, you can't experience a leathery nature to it. The warm woods, the green woods, all that kind of makes sense. It's just, it's definitely centered around cannabis for the most part. It's a green fragrance in general. So that's Indicativa. And uh, yeah, on skin, it makes a lot more sense in terms of what they're saying is going on. I, I, I didn't, I don't even know if you guys could see that, but yeah, it's basically, they put it on these little cards. They wanted you to spray on these, but I like to just spray on my strips. Maybe I should have sprayed it on the card, but how I feel about it, I don't know. Uh, it's different. It's definitely a good quality. I'm not mad at it, but I'm not really sure if I would necessarily need that one. But uh, that is Indicativa. And so we're gonna move on to Hella Flora. Hella Flora. So let me see, that is sample B. So let me go ahead and spray that. Okay. Very good atomizers. These are very good sample atomizers. Now that one kind of escaped me. Okay, so let's see what we got here. <clears throat> let's clear my palette. Okay. Okay, that one's definitely more, a little bit more fruity in nature. Like fruity, slightly floral, a touch of sweetness, but I really like the balance of the sweetness in this. I'm gonna guess there's probably still some vanilla in this, but it almost feels more like, and you know what? I'm gonna change my tune on that. Almost feels a little bit more like that honey style of sweetness. It's a little bit sparkly. There's definitely some like zesty citrus notes, maybe some lemon or something like that. Uh, there's, I, there's gotta be some kind of fruit. Well, you know, maybe there's not some kind of fruit, but if there is, there's fruitiness to it and it could be coming from some florals, maybe in something like Magnolia, something like that, cause it's kind of soft. Uh, I like that one. I don't know if I need to own it just yet, but this one is very pleasant. I really like that one. Let's go ahead and spray that one on skin as well. Let me just, just, just go for it. We'll spray it on my other hand here. Okay, and let me give that a minute to settle and we'll, I'll be back. All right, so this is, again, Hella Flora. It sat on my hand for a little bit. I'm almost getting a little bit of like a maple syrupy kind of thing going on. And it might be a little boozy as well. Yeah, almost like a rum, like a cord in here. Still get a little bit of that sparkliness, a little bit of a fruity vibe, but I think it's florals. I don't think there's actual fruit in this. And I'm gonna look at the notes in a second. Musk. I think I'm getting a little bit of musk. There also might be some like almost, there's almost like a viney green kind of smell just sitting way at the base of it, kind of making up some of the base notes. Might be some blonde woods too. Off rip, I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more than Indicativa at this time. Let's see what the notes are. Oh, hang on. I dropped the cards. Let's see here. So Hella Flora. Yuzu, okay, Iris, Frankincense, Rose, Black pepper, amberwood, tuberose, myrrh, papyrus, bakor, jasmine, coffee, hinoki, musk, and broxen. There's a lot going on with this one. I would say that tuberose is heavily balanced and the papyrus makes sense uh, because I was saying I was getting kind of a viney greenness. I think that could be papyrus. I can't remember what hinoki is. I don't know what bakor is. I'd have to look that up. There is musk, I did say that. Jasmine kind of makes sense. Again, this one's much more floral in nature, the kind of citrus I'm experiencing does make sense with yuzu. I don't really have too many yuzu fragrances. Uh, I need to get some yuzu fragrances because I actually like the smell of any fragrance I've come across that you know kind of says yuzu is kind of one of the primary notes in the fragrance. I've always liked them, but unfortunately I don't own any, so that's a failure on my part. Uh, it, I wouldn't, this listing iris, but I wouldn't call this an iris fragrance. There's a little bit of a pepperiness that kind of makes sense. I like this. Uh, yeah, this is Hella Flora. Uh, I would say it is unisex. T to me, this one does kind of lean slightly feminine, very slightly 
uh, but I think a man could certainly rock this because, like I said, there's some kind of uh, notes that are in this that give it a little bit of a bite, so it kind of pulls it more sort towards that unisex kind of style fragrance. I like that one. Well, we, I don't know. I might need to pick that one up. Let's move on to the next one. So this is going to be Figasm. Uh, obviously, with a name like Figasm, it's hard to think that it would not have some fig type notes in it, but we'll see what we get here. Oh. All right, got a good spray there. Oh, that, okay. Let's see. So we're going back to green with this one. This is almost like the fig tree. Uh, not overly as fruity. Don't think fig like you might experience it with something like Fico di Amalfi. This is more about the tree off of the strip at least and my experience. I've actually like been under a really big fig tree uh, when the fruit was ripe, the figs were uh, uh, their, their, what is it, their nectar or their fig milk, they were coming out of the figs. All the bugs were all over it because they were basically ripe for harvesting. And I told the story before how my dad picked a ton of them for the road trip home because this was actually uh, near Atlanta. And I got the smell of all of it. I got the fig leaf, I got the fig wood, and the figs themselves. Fig trees are awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to put it that way. Figs are awesome if you haven't had figs before. But this one reminds me more so of the tree. A little bit more green has a little bit more of that kind of leafy feel to it and just a little bit of that fig but let's spray it on skin because i might get a slightly different picture hang on okay i think i can spray it here i think my fragrance is dried down enough to where it won't interfere too much all right let me let that sit for a minute i'll be right back all right so this is sat on my skin for a little bit definitely getting a little bit more of a citric uh kind of top note vibe going on with this one but it definitely, I'm, I'm just thinking fig tree. I mean, I think the entire fragrance is meant to kind of be an ode to the fig tree in more of a green kind of way, not so much focusing on the fig as a fruit, but you do get that in here. You absolutely get notes of fig, but I think it's more about the fig leaf and the fig wood in general. And you know, there might be some other stuff kind of helping to create that picture, but it's kind of zesty also. Uh, this one is very calming. I mean, this is almost giving me spa kind of like vibe. So if you want a scent that has a calming nature to it, I think this one absolutely would have that. Uh, again, I would say unisex. However, I think more women would be interested in this right off the bat. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure. But that's kind of my initial thoughts. Let's see what we got for notes. Where is it? Figasm. Okay, so we got fig. Japanese cedar, frankincense, ambroxan, black currant, papyrus, jasmine, pear musk, interesting, vanilla, and ginger. All right. So, yeah, to me, all of this just comes together to give you fig tree. You know, the entire picture of the fig tree with less of a focus on the fig as a fruit. And I got to tell you, I like this one too. I really like this one. I just, I love that calming nature I'm getting from this. And this immediately takes me back to that fig tree. So this one is triggering some scent memories and I like fragrances that do that. Let me revisit all three real quick on skin and see what I think. So Indicatiba's right here. Hang on, let me cover up because I got a lot of stuff going on. This is getting a little bit softer and a little bit sweeter as it dries down. I still get that cannabis. I still get that overall green herbaceous vibe dried woods with a little bit of sweetness you know for balance i'm actually liking it a lot better that it is dried down on my skin a lot uh i don't know if you guys have ever noticed but i don't really give fragrances rankings when i do first impressions let me know down in the comments if you want me to start doing that i don't know that's just never been something i like to do mainly because it could I could smell it tomorrow and give it a completely different rating and I'm going to forget what rating I gave it. I would have to write it down and I don't want to do that. Cuz <laughs> that would be a lot of that would be a big old database. I don't, I don't want to do that. But if you want me to start doing that, I will start doing it. It for the first impressions video, but don't be surprised if it changes if I get the fragrance and it changes later on. This is nice. Actually, now that it is dried down a little bit, I actually really like that one. Uh and then on this hand we had Hella Flora this one might still be my favorite. I just, I like that soft, but fruity, sparkly vibe that this fragrance has. 
Yeah, and that kind of almost honeyed maple syrup kind of sweetness that's very, very light, almost as if it was sugar-free or something like that. But yeah, I really like that one. This one does have that heavy, I'm starting to really notice the Ambroxan as well, kind of mixing with some of the sweeter notes. It's really starting to come out in this one. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know, I just like the way that one smells. Hella Flora is very nice, and then Figasm. Again, this is probably the most green one out of all of them. That, as I experience it here on my skin. And again, just think fig tree with less focus on the fig fruit and more focus on the overall fig tree itself. It has a little bit of the fig fruitiness, but if you're thinking about fragrances like uh, Fico di Amalfi or other fragrances that really feature fig, this is not gonna be experienced that way. More of a green and woody vibe with this scent, but it's centered, centered around that fig tree. Uh, all right, let me give my final thoughts on these. I think these fragrances are excellent releases. And let us let me also just give a shout out to the House of Savoir Faire. Uh, again, I've only got two fragrances from them, but I know other content creators and other just fragrance enthusiasts in general have experienced many fragrances from that house. They speak highly of them. I told you, I've been impressed with the two that I own so far. And frankly, I am impressed with these. This is great quality stuff. And frankly, shout out to just indie fragrance houses in general. What I love about indie fragrance houses is they basically can just push the envelope and give out good stuff uh, and they don't have as much overhead in general, so you can get them for cheaper. You know, I'm not necessarily saying that's a good thing for them, but you know, their costs are typically lower because they're smaller companies and they can just kind of give you experiences that you may not otherwise get from larger fragrance houses because they're because their costs are higher, their need for more and more sales is also higher, but that doesn't mean these fragrance houses aren't looking for as many sales as possible. But yeah, this, and Indica T was actually drying down really really nice i just kind of happened to smell it i wasn't going to revisit them anymore but i think these fragrances are excellent uh what was it the dope floral collection was what they called it i would agree um the most floral one is hella floral the other two are a little bit more green in nature but it's clearly kind of a vegetal fragrance uh trio if you will all centered around florals and woody notes and green notes and i think they're done very well now again these are my first impressions uh, these are pretty large samples, so there's no reason for me not to kind of really check them out a little bit more, and I probably will. But I gotta say, I would pick up at least one of these, and the first one might be Hella Flora, but Indicativa is starting to grow on me, and Figasm just gives me something that I don't quite have in my collection. It gives me a, a scent memory, but you know, even with these samples, I mean, you know, even if I don't want to buy a bottle and I don't use up all the samples, these are pretty good sample sizes. But yes, great releases from the House of Savoir Fair. And uh, honestly, I need to look into their other stuff as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for this first impressions video. I imagine some of you also got your hands on these samples. If you did get your nose on these by now, let me know what you think of them down in the comments below. So thanks again for watching all the way into the end. I really do appreciate you guys. Please remember to be well and smell well. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.